It's the race we've all been waiting for. Cole Hawker, Craig Ingalls, Yurid Nagus, and Matthew Centrowitz all finally competing in the men's 1500 meter finals in this year's United States Olympic Trials. This matchup has been one of the most anticipated showdowns of this entire season, as the rapidly rising Cole Hawker from Oregon, who's won three individual NCAA championships this season, is finally set to clash against the 2016 Olympic champion, the 2019 US champion, and the NCAA 1500 meter record holder, Yurid Nagus. Since the start of his 2021 campaign, Hawker's finishing kick has made him an almost untouchable athlete this year, as his final 200 meters have been the source of endless domination against any other athlete. But in the semifinals, we saw both Centrowitz and Hawker throw down an incredible final 400 meters in 52 seconds flat. And to the surprise of many people in the stadium, they somehow managed to have a nice little chat over this final 100. Indeed, these two are looking fantastic right now, but don't sleep on Craig Ingalls, as he's the athlete with the fastest season's best coming into this race at 3 minutes 33.64 seconds. To add even more drama to this already incredible race, this 1500 meter final was postponed for four hours due to the extreme heat in the Pacific Northwest, where temperatures reached an absurd high of 108 degrees Fahrenheit, or 42 degrees Celsius talk about a scorcher. Indeed, running in such sweltering conditions was quite the bad idea, so postponing this race was very much a benefit to many athletes. After this four-hour delay, which honestly felt like four days, the athletes finally made their way back onto the track, and after an entire season of waiting and months and months of anticipation, it was finally time for this incredible showdown. At the start of this race, Hawker from Oregon shot directly to the front, and after around 200 meters of very fast running, the athletes then comfortably settled into their pace. Through the opening lap, the field split a time of 58.37 seconds, quite the respectable time for the opening lap of this 1500 meter final. After this first lap, Eric Avila took up the pacing duties for the next 300 meters, holding quite the solid pace for the entire field. Now with just over two laps remaining, Colby Alexander made a solid push to the lead, and tucked in very comfortably behind him was none other than Matthew Centrowitz. Indeed, Centrowitz found himself in quite the ideal position here, as he was now able to draft off Alexander while waiting for his perfect moment to strike. And while the defending Olympic champion was certainly poised for success, the exact opposite could be said for Cole Hawker, who was unfortunately boxed in near the back of the pack. Through two laps, the field hit a time of 1 minute 58.79 seconds, a respectable time, but it did represent a previous lap of just over 60 seconds, so a fast time for this race was more or less out the window at this point. Coming down the final home stretch with just over one lap remaining, Centrowitz eased his way into the lead in almost the exact same fashion as the 2016 Olympic Finals, and we all remember what happened for that race, as Centrowitz dropped a blistering final 400 in 50 seconds flat to take the gold medal. Over this final 400 meters, Centrowitz slowly cranked up the pace, building his way to an epic final 200 meters, and even though he was quite close behind at this point, Cole Hawker was still boxed in, completely unable to break free and challenge Centrowitz. With half a lap remaining, Centrowitz was now in prime position, and you could tell that he was getting ready to make his big move toward the finish. And just as the athletes came around the final bend toward the home stretch, Cole Hawker finally broke free, and when he did, he threw down a brutal final 100 meters. Chasing down the previous Olympic champion, Hawker was making up significant ground on one of the best finishers in 1500 meter history. And over these final moments, this 20-year-old athlete from Oregon was incredibly able to take down Matthew Centrowitz, winning this 1500 meter final in 3 minutes 35.28 seconds. This was yet another fantastic performance from Cole Hawker, who's had quite the fantastic 2021 season. And with a finishing kick like this against the defending Olympic champion, he simply has to be one of the favorites to bring home an Olympic medal from Tokyo. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.